Welcome to the how-to series with Capella. Today we will show you how to connect GitHub to load up a model. Uh, uh, first of all, your model deserves a respective version control, so we're going to walk through a very simple use case uh, with UBAT being the champion. Uh, we're going to use what is eGit, which is in integrated already within Capella, to do this, and we're going to connect, in this case, to Git, GitHub. Uh, you'll find more information around this in the help menus under Capella. Uh, under the uh, Teams menu, uh, you'll actually see the actual implementation, uh, and you can look at here the eGit documentation. Uh, I'm going to just show you very quickly how we can do this, and I'll let you connect to models that uh, I use uh, for uh, our my demos and the other series. Um, basically, it provides a powerful safety net for champion building models. It provides snapshotting, commits, and models progress along along with features of branching and merging, uh, and it's also excellent for developing and delivering training materials. We use it quite a bit for that. Let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, here's your uh, uh, basically an open uh, Capella project uh, ready to be loaded. Uh, we're just going to go in here and do an import, and then we'll select the option for Git. We'll start with projects from Git uh, and bring the project up into here. Uh, we're going to actually clone a URI, so we're going to basically work from an existing project, and you'll be able to do this exact project because uh, it's out up on GitHub. Uh, once we do that, we basically have to go and get the Git project. In this case, I have the Git project already open. Um, here it is. This is the Git project that we have it. Now, if you create a project of your own and you want to basically connect it, it's the same way that I'm showing here. The only thing you might want to do is make sure you change the, the default uh, on settings here. Uh, there's a default branch. Uh, I would change the default mat branch to master because that master branch is the one that's typically used by eGit. So you can actually change that quite easily here. Uh, so once that's been changed, uh, you'll see that this is the trail power example. Uh, I'll go back to the, the base, uh, to the main splash screen, which you see here, I have a readme file. Uh, then you just take this whole path, grab the path, cop, put it into the copy buffer, uh, and paste that into the URI. Now, if this is uh, an open, is a public uh, account, you won't need the, pa the username and password. The password, by the way, is a token you have to create inside of Git. I won't cover that here, but there's lots of great videos about how you create a token. Uh, so that's uh, basically all you need to do. Once that is done, you just hit next. Uh, it's gonna go off and pull the information uh, from Git and get the branches. Uh, you'll see here that it has both a main and a master branch. The only one you'll need if you've changed the, the, the setting is the master branch, like I just uh, did. Um, and you can select the default if you wish. And and then it'll say the information of where you want this to pull this down from. In this case, since I pulled it once before, uh, the, the, the name, I can't use this name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the name. Uh, since the version that I'm pulling down is a Capella, um, six dot, um, a Capella, uh, six dot, uh, zero version. I want to be, I'm going to upgrade the six dot one. I'm just going to call this six one and I'll go ahead and download it and it'll do this. It'll say working tree. Um, typically it'll say it's checking out the files, which is what you'd expect it to do. Um, and, uh, then I hit next again and you'll see the standard load for a project. So here's the, the trail power load, you hit finish, uh, and the file will come down and it'll tell you what the name of the branch is that you're in, uh, or uh, what the name of the path in. So you're in, and it'll have your name of your local Git directory. Um, that's about it. That's how you basically connect to it and bring it down. To open the model up, you just do the standard process of opening up your model, uh, and there you go. You, you'll load in your session. Okay. And of course, I told you I was going to upgrade it. And if you have the wrong version, uh, you can easily do the migration right here. And I will migrate it and hope the new version. And now you'll see uh, a new version of this project will be uh, up on the account uh, all the way up to 6.1. Uh, if you need to go to older versions, uh, you can use, again, the Teams memory uh, and uh, the Teams command. And here's the T. I'm loading up the file. And you'll see uh, here the Teams uh, command that I mentioned. 
uh, you can actually go to history, show history, uh, and it'll give you a history of the, the different versions. You can see here, I had a version for 5.2, one for 6.0, and now when I push this out, I'll have a version for 6.1. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, just to give you a quick summary of the steps again. And, uh, and we're off, okay? That's basically what you need to do. Uh, thank you. Uh, please subscribe, uh, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you.